Welcome to the On the Hunt podcast. My name is Elijah Winfrey. Joining me, as always, is Nate Rucker and Bobby Bless. We are here to talk all things Lions football, and we are here to give away some Lions merchandise. Now, here's how this is going to work uh, before we get too much further into the show. You are going to have to watch the entire show today because we're going to be giving you a keyword, a code word at some point during this program. And with that code word, you're going to comment below that code word. If you're the first person to do it and you are subscribed, you will win what we are giving away today. And it's pretty cool. So make sure you listen to this entire podcast today. Don't skip a beat because you don't want to miss that code and miss out on some Lions merchandise uh again want to introduce bobby and nate and uh, we're going to get right into the game that happened on sunday and i wanted to give a little stats here so that we have a little context of what happened obviously the final score 38 35 you've probably seen that floating around uh eagles ended up beating our lions 38 35 uh but some interesting stats for you jalen hurts he didn't throw any touchdowns he didn't throw any interceptions. He was actually 18 out of 32 for 243 yards, but he killed us running the ball. 17 carries for 90 yards and a touchdown. And on the Lions side of things, want to make a mention that DeAndre Swift had himself a game. 15 carries, 144 yards, averaged nine yards a carry. He also had a touchdown. Jamal Williams had two touchdowns in this game. Uh, they kind of put him in goal line situations. Uh, Amon Ross St. Brown had a touchdown. DJ Shark had a touchdown. Jared Goff finished 21 out of 37, 215 yards, two touchdowns, but he did throw a very critical pick six. Want to go here uh, to my co host and get your thoughts on the game. We're going to start off with Mr. Nate Rucker. Nate, what were your thoughts on the game, my friend? Um, Actually, I was really impressed uh, for the most part. Um, as we know, last year we lost 44 to six. This year, um, they were down 21-7. Um, they were down, actually, they were down 17 points, rallied back to only lose by three. Um, it sticks to that word of Dan Campbell and grit. So I, um, I, I'm, I'm good with it. Like I said, you know, didn't get the win, but the effort, the, the continual growth is there. I'm good. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. And, Bobby, what was your opinion as far as the – uh, the, the the game on Sunday, my friend. Man, I'm right on pace with Nate for real. I remember uh, the first few plays of the game. Swift took off, broke, almost broke that uh, touchdown, that long run. I was like, yeah, this. I was real happy with that. The offense seems more explosive. I don't know who's designing the plays. If it's the Ben Johnson guy or Campbell, I like what I seen. I like what I seen early on. Uh, I didn't like the drop passes. That's kind of – it was irritating the hell out of me along with the other mistakes. But <laughs> we wasn't over – we wasn't overwhelmed. We killed ourselves. And I, I know there's no such thing as moral victories, but to, to see that we could actually do this if we play our kind of football, do the right things we're supposed to, is a comfortable feeling. And this – Jared Goff taking shots down the field. We didn't compete, complete them like we wanted to but I can see that we evolved from last year, Dinkin and Duncan. And I like, even though people is critical of J uh, Jamal Williams, but I like that little one, two punch they got going there. Cause he looked, they cause Swift looked like he be fresh and ready to go. And Jamal Williams always run tough and people forget that he's a better pass protector than uh, DeAndre Swift. So that alone was going to get him the chance to be on the field. And as far as the defense, uh, but I, I, I did like, I did like the uh, Rodriguez kid, but I will we'll probably talk about that a little bit later. So, uh, back to you, my brother. What you think? How was your thoughts on the guy, Elijah? So I, I, I enjoyed the game for the most part. I will say it was a little frustrating watching Jalen Hurts run uh, and, and be able to get so many yards especially on third and long, you know, where I thought, you know, okay, we got this guy covered. But about halfway through the game, I started to realize something, that my favorite college team and my favorite NFL team run the exact same defense, the 4-2-5. And for folks who don't know, I'm a Georgia Tech fan. 
And so I had I had just got finished watching Western Carolina, which is a pretty good team despite where they play, um, do something similar to my Yellow Jackets on Saturday, where their quarterback would drop back to pass and then take off on third and long, get the first down. And so it, it kind of made me go do a little research on the 4-2-5 defense. Now, my experience in football was as a quarterback and as a coach. So I know the offensive side of it, but I want to turn it over to our resident defensive coordinator, Mr. Nate Rucker. Nate. The 425 defense, explain that to people so that we're not, you know, yelling out at the wrong person as far as uh, our <laughs> anger and frustration. So what went wrong on Sunday with this 425, Nate? Well, well, historically the 425 is you have three zero techniques and one rush in. But the Lions are doing a NASCAR package. So what they're using, they're putting three pass rushing defensive ends on the field with Elaine McNeil. So you have uh, Charles Harris, you have Aiden Hutchinson, you had Austin Bryant. So they call that the NASCAR package. And then you only have two linebackers. So you have Alex Anzalone and you have Rodrigo. So both of them are primarily responsible for the flats. So that's a lot of area to cover, mm -hmm. especially with only two linebackers. But you have five DBs. Now, what the Lions were employing, they were employing three corners and two safeties. Um, if anybody's familiar with Aaron Glenn in uh, New Orleans, he implied two corners and three safeties. So it's very integral that when you play in this 4 2 5, that that corner has to get deep. He cannot leave that deep end open. You know, depth is very, very important when you're running that 4 2 5 because of that linebacker you know that they, they've got a lot of room to cover so your drop your back pedal has to be precise it has to be quick so in between that that's where we missed it a lot of things you've seen will harris um especially when he got got beat on that touchdown because of his depth so he by him not being deep enough he was in the trail position jalen hurts dropped it right over the top of his head um so that's where that comes in um, the four two five it does create if done right will create turnovers will create a lot of interceptions. And I know I know for for my side of things the the limited research I had time to do on the four two five Nate you know it, it really puts your weak side safety in a, kind of a compromised position because they're taught to get depth like you were talking about you know mm -hmm. get depth you know help out those linebackers in coverage help out those corners especially with the crossing route. Uh, in a three by one formation, which we kept seeing the Eagles line up in. Exactly. And the problem is, is whenever you are getting depth like your coach to, because you think it's a pass play and Jalen Hurts sees how far back you are, he's just going to take off. Yeah. And, it, it, and it, given the amount of depth you have versus the speed he has, by the time you do catch up with him, he's already seven or eight yards down the field. So I think it'll be interesting to see how the Lions make an adjustment there for running quarterbacks, because I hate exactly. to say it, but we did see Marcus Mariota and Desmond Ritter do that same thing in the preseason. And we thought, you know what? It's just preseason, mm -hmm. but it might actually be the fact that we don't really have an eracer yet at that right. weak side safety position, which would be critical, you know, maybe mm -hmm. something to upgrade in the next year's draft, or maybe, maybe it's just first game jitters. I mean, there were a lot more people than, than there normally are at Lions games. I'm not putting our team down. I'm just saying there was a lot more people to play in front of. So Yeah, they were, they were deep. Which, yeah. hey, you know, credit to our fan base for showing up. I was super proud to see that. Speaking Absolutely. of fan base, our fan base has got to have some fan favorites. We're going to go over to Nate here. This is something new that we're trying out. Uh, Nate, give us your offensive, defensive, and special teams player of the game. Uh, for me, offense is going to be DeAndre Swift. Um, looked explosive. Um, he uh, his 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 pass protection was pretty good that uh, yesterday. Um, missed a couple, but um, his explosiveness with that offensive line, man, he he was he was electric. Um, defensively, I've got two. I've got uh, Tracy, 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 Tracy Walker, and <laughs> I've got Rodrigo. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then then on our special teams, even though Juju Hughes. Um, he actually was the lowest line graded out with by PFF, but on special teams, he was the he, he was the gunner on the special teams. He had two assists and one solo. 
um, which was tops for all special teams. What you got, Rob? Yeah, 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 good, yeah, good looking out, Nate. Um, for real, for real, on that offense, even though he dropped a pass, I, I, I like the DJ Shark. I, I seen it. I seen it. You know what I mean? I seen the potential. And my guy Elijah was talking last week about, you know, he was interested to see what he can do. He did drop that pass, but he got in the paint, man. Ain't nothing like getting them uh, points in the paint, man. That, the touchdowns <laughs> is the whole thing, you know. Oh, man, yeah. I love that. And as far as the defense, of course, Rodrigo, that 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 guy remained remained nameless. But my guy Charles Harris, Nate already know, man. I wanted Charles Harris when he looked baby. You feel me? Hey. I know nothing about football, right? Missouri. But now, but now we got him mature and stuff, and he ready. You know what I mean? And every time he make a play, man, I just feel like this guy should have been here, of course, but. Yes. I yeah. think he's gonna help. I think he helping Aiden, Aiden though too. You know, even though he didn't have a like, you know, mm-hmm. prime time game. And far as special team, I'm gonna leave that applicable. I can't say I really pay attention to that shit that much because then nobody run no no kickback or nothing. I ain't see no hit hit hits, but I'm a, <laughs> I, I promise I have one for y'all next week. Right. What about you, Mike? What about you, Elijah? I know you got some good ones, Mike. So for me on offense, I'm going to give it to the crew who never gets any attention unless they get a flag. I'm going to give it up for our entire offensive line. Okay. That's my offense. Now, okay. I have to say that because your running back ain't going to get 103 right. rushing yards and you're not going to have three rushing touchdowns without those big guys up front. And I have to say it was, it was warming my heart because we have not had a healthy offensive line. For the past, I want to say three years, we've not been building the pieces. No, good, no, my tie hurts still, but you know, yeah. we, we've been building the pieces. But every single time, you know, we went to go put it all together, somebody was hurt. You know, yeah. and even now, even now, yeah. we have that one player who is out. Um, no, it's two, two players, players that are out. Yeah, two guys two. that are out. Um, but for me, like I said, it just warmed my heart that that our running backs had that wide open of a lane. Uh, to be able to run through. So for the offense, I was pleasantly player, surprised. That's for sure. I would say offensive line, even though that's kind of cheating a little bit to pick an entire unit. I know, I know. But uh, on defense, uh, on defense, I would say Rodrigo. I think everybody loves Rodrigo. Uh, I, I would like to see him as much as he's playing everywhere right now and he's running like his head's on fire. I would like to see him settle down just a little bit because what it reminds me of, and I know I'm gonna get some pushback here, and that's okay. What it reminds me of is it reminds me of Jared Davis and his rookie season. Because in his rookie season, he was running around just like that, making some big hits before he got his first initial injury. And then after that, it started to become a thing where he would overrun all of his assignments and then he would have Nate screaming at him on television. So <laughs> I, I just I want to see Rodrigo. He looked great in that first game, but defenses will adjust to him and how mm-hmm. he adjusts will make or break his career, in my opinion. Uh, and okay. then special teams, I got to give it up for the Gunners as well. But I also wanted to give it up for our kicker. I know we tried the one onside kick, didn't work out. But still, you know, to, to Fox see, is pretty good. Fox, to see Fox, some Fox execution good. on that was nice. I would have liked to get the onside kick. We didn't, but that's okay. One other player on defense real quick, Austin Bryant. Now, if yeah. I'm not mistaken, Austin Bryant had a huge pass deflection against Jalen Hurts. And if he does not deflect that pass, get his big paw up, that's probably a touchdown for the Eagles on a screen pass. Yeah. So yeah. I love to see that. I love to see that. I yeah, he was it. dropping in coverage. He, I, yeah, because I thought, honestly, not to cut you off, my brother, I thought they should have used him a lot more to break up them damn slant passes they were throwing. But go ahead. Go back to – go. I'm no, sorry, no, you're bro. good. You're good. I mean, and, and maybe they will. Maybe they will in the future after watching that tape. But I think Austin Bryan has really come on these last, you know, I want to say three or four weeks now. He's really showing yeah. that, hey – I'm here to play. You know, you you can't overlook me. He's healthy. That's the key part. He's healthy. Yeah. So so for me, th- those are my guys. But we all want to know <laughs> who is <laughs> Nate's. I got to make sure I get a good one here. Who is Nate's stupid boy of the week? Nate, who do you got? No, Who's goofy? The, the 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 SBA man. You know you know the the stupid boy award will go out to also one of the leaders I had fan favor for defense, which was Tracy Walker. Come on, boy. You got, you can't do that, man. You leading the team. You've got 
13 tackles, nine solo, one sack, and the defense yeah, he is was, he was a hound. And you've got this letter on your uniform and your helmet. You've got this letter C, which means captain. And at all times, you have to keep your mind in the game. And anybody who knows is never the first guy who's caught, but the second guy is always caught. So the SBA goes to Tracy Walker. All right. Well, hey, I, I appreciate that, Nate. I, and I also just want to say that I think for Tracy Walker, I don't think I've ever seen him get ejected before. And I, I, hope, I, I hope I never see him get ejected again. But you, it makes you wonder, for somebody who does not ever really lose their cool, like what the hell happened on that sideline? But we, we'll never know. We'll never know. But, I mean, like Nate said, it's always the second person that gets caught, which yeah. is unfortunate. But, you know, especially on that hit, too, because I don't think he was trying to harm the quarterback. He looked just as upset uh -huh. as the team was about it. So, You're right, uh -huh. right. That's what you have to look at, you know, a player and, and how, what he does. But it's also – we'll talk We'll talk about that later when we get to the minutes. You know, well, actually, I we'll touch on that. Okay. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was about Tell to him, Nate, we're going to get him. This is a jam-packed show, and if you're just joining us here on the broadcast, remember, we are giving away some Lions merch today, but you got to stick around because we're going to give you a code word uh, that, that will help you win this Lions merchandise. Speaking of Lions merch, we're going to go over now to the king of Lions merch. It is Mr. Uh, Bobby Bless. Bobby Bless, bless us with some merch hey, knowledge, my friend. Hey, I wish I could have – I wish this would have been a Detroit Lions win hat, you know? I'd have been loved it, but today's merchandise is a Lions hat. If you remember, uh, Dan Campbell and them had the blue one sit standing on the sideline. I I was looking at that one, and then I seen this the black and blue one. That looks a little bit more e exclusive to me, to be honest. But um, yeah, my man, this this actually got this from NFL Shop, and if you know it, if you guys know NFL Shop. Maybe you did know at home they have discounts during the game, so you might can get sideline apparel for like uh twenty percent. Depends because if you if you notice if you ever knew those guys get fined if they're not wearing the right attire even on the sideline. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah they so they basically like they're trying to advertise what they have for sale in sideline gear and uh like towels hats and even all kind of merchandise to be on sale for like 20 percent off 30 percent off especially if you save your uh money during the game but most people if you like me i'm not thinking about no damn shopping during the game so i figure uh my wife she does a great job of shopping online and she always stumbles across those kind of things I figure I'll share that with with us that when you're watching the game, you know how you watch the game, like, dang, I like what he got on. Mm -hmm. Shoot, go to NFL shop, you can get it. Because nine times out of ten, they got some kind of discount or percentage off for that item, especially if it's sideline apparel or sideline gear. And if most stuff have sideline uh, labels on the hat, so you know it w exactly what it is. So... That's kind of my little uh hack though, knowing I because I don't buy, who don't like saving money. Mm -hmm. So when I can get discounts, even though I'm not even paying attention, I'll take it, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, man, I love a hat, but the next week hat gotta be a hat for a damn win. I kind of feel like I'm cheating this process doing it this way, but hey, I'm gonna buy a hat regardless, rather I tell you about it as if the Lions win. So. Okay. So it sounds, oh. <laughs> sounds like a plan, my friend. And I have to say, yes. that's kind of sneaky marketing on the NFL's behalf because they know that everybody is watching the game and they're like, this is when we're going to put some coupons out when nobody's looking. So now I appreciate you telling us about that because I think we're going to sell some more merchandise next week. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I, I get, I've, I've been knowing that for years, but being able to apply it when I'm watching a damn game is so hard. But you know how. Uh, our wives are about that shopping. They, they ain't care. They ain't care about no shopping over no football. And my wife is a football fan. So. <laughs> it's crazy. And 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 Bobby, I believe it is that time 
for us to talk about that contest. So Bobby, why don't you grab that item? I'm gonna put the pin on me so we don't ruin the surprise here. Uh, and so here's, okay. here's the deal. Here's the deal, folks. So we have got some Lions merchandise to give away. And we're going to give out a code Oops. word here in a second. Now, when we give out this code word, I want you to run. Don't walk. Run to the comment section of this video, okay? You're going to comment the code word, okay? If you are the first person to comment that code word and you have subscribed to this YouTube channel, you are going to win yourself what Bobby Bless is going to show you right now. Bobby, show the folks what they could win. That looks pretty nice. That is it's a Detroit Lions LED lamp. This is my personal one. The one you guys are getting is still brand new in this box over here. But to just show you how it looks, it rotates, you know, different colors or whatnot, or you can keep it on the solid color like you like. Uh, typically, uh, Typically, I, I leave it on at night. It's like kind of like my living room night light, I guess, because it makes it real, real cool light. But uh, I think this really would look good on anybody's desk, coffee table type thing. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I just think it just shows this. It's the little stuff that lets people know how big of a fan you are. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, sometimes even if it's down to a pencil or something like that, how you get that? Because I was looking for it, you know what I mean? Because that's how that's how much you how, how much you're a big fan, you know what I'm saying? You find the most arc, op, obscure things similar to similar to that lamp, and it, it just you know everybody like LED lights and whatnot, and I think that would go right on with somebody who got strips light strips on their wall or on a TV or you know what I mean? It's a, it's a, it's a real good vibe, man. Especially if you're a lion, you're a lions fan, and you like that kind of stuff. But so I, I think I, I think, think it's I think it's my friend. So, so the uh, I do I think Nate has the code word. If I, I think he does, mistaken. I think he does. So so we're all excited, Nate. What is the code word, my friend, that they need to comment in the comments section right now? And they got to make sure to be subscribed. What is that code word? That code word is going to be Claiborne. Claiborne is the code word spelled C-L-A-I-R-E-B-O-R-N. Claiborne. I'm sorry. C-L-A-I-R-B-O-R-N-E. Claiborne. If anybody remember a former linebacker we had from USC, Chris Claiborne. So Claiborne is that code word. Put it in the comments, but remember, you have to be subscribed to be in the contest for that lamp. So, and you remember, might as well like the video too while you're at it. Oh yeah, like it, put a comment, do whatever you want to do, share it too while you're at it. All <laughs> right, so Claiborne is the the code word. Comment it right now, and here's what we want you to do to find out if you've won or not. Okay, we want you to go to the real true Detroit Lions. Facebook group, which many of the folks who watch this show are in that group. If you're not, you know, in that group, make sure you request to get into it. Uh, mm -hmm. And at nine o'clock tonight, at nine o'clock tonight, me, Nate, and Bobby are going to be going up on Facebook Live, and we're going to be announcing the winner. But again, in order to win, you got to comment the code word Claiborne right now in the comment section of this YouTube video. And make sure you are subscribed. And as Bobby said, throw us a like. It's free after all, right? It's free. Yeah, man. man press, <laughs> press that button. Quit playing. Press that button, man. It's and so fun. with that, let's go ahead and move on here to our next segment. And that is going to be Inside the Den with Mr. Nate Rucker. Nate, you are spotlighted, my friend. Take it away. Okay. Um, uh, what Normally what I talk about when I do Inside the Den, we want to talk about um, the – what type of restaurants we've had, what, what type of restaurants and things of that nature. What I'm going to start doing is I'm going to highlight one restaurant that I may have seen or that I've heard about that is in Ford Field. And that one restaurant right now is going to be Crown Royal. I heard that the drinks there were pretty, pretty awesome. That's the one thing. If I ain't had nothing else, it was about the drinks at the Crown Royal restaurant. Um, they also had food, which is regular American food from burgers, fries, uh, chicken tenders, things of that nature. Um, you can get beers at our tap, on the tap, and draft. Um, also, what we want to do now, I want to give you guys 
uh, inside, when you going to the game, make sure if you, by all means, you don't want to come out of the game, whether it's a win or a loss with a ticket on your car. So make sure <laughs> you guys are putting in places where, hey, you pay the park. Because remember, those meters, man, you only have so long. So if you're not going out, no, we used to, they did not used to be out on Sundays. Meter maids are out on Sundays and they are 100% at sporting events. The city, are they love you guys' money. So, <laughs> they're smart. Sure. Hey, if you got to walk a little bit farther, that's fine. You have parking starting at 10, 20, 30, up to what I've seen is $50. You know, forty to fifty dollars, which is directly across from the stadium, or you know, some of us are lucky. Hey, if you have the parking pass, we can park in the garage. But again, just being smart, y'all, pay that extra parking a lot where you don't got to come out to a ticket. Because when you think about these tickets nowadays, they fifty dollars. You could have just went on and paid that price to park. <laughs> right, 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 right. Right, <laughs> just that it's just that simple too, Nate. It's just don't make it more than it gotta be. Just that simple, man. Uh, uh, also, um, make sure that you bring me personally. I would always say take cash and your debit card, and because they do not have swipers and and you cannot use debit when if you're going to park inside the lots. Oh, but but if you want to park on the street. Yes, you can put your debit card now into those uh, machines on the side, into the little meters. It takes quarters and it takes debit cards. It does not take green dollars. Only thing that takes the green dollars are the parking lot attendant that you're going to get the 52 to not get. Yeah. And his <laughs> hand like this. He had he like this. He can't put no card, nothing like that. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, he don't want no card. Nope. Yeah, so make sure y'all take care of that. That's and, funny. Uh, so right now that was the end of the uh inside the den on um, back to you elijah all right my friend well hey we appreciate that information nobody wants to be nate stupid boy of the week oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, start hey, giving that out to some people hey, who i'll post my ticket tickets. like hey nate get me yeah, <laughs> that's that's right right if somebody get a ticket hey you know what if you you don't, if you don't believe me if you get a ticket <laughs> i want you to be man or woman enough to post it into the <laughs> or, or send Elijah a message. Yeah. You, you can you you can take a picture of your ticket and say, "Could you put me down for the SBA because I did not listen and I got it got done." <laughs> and and if you do it, and if you do it for a limited time only, Nate will pay it. I'm just kidding. Nate did not say. Oh, see, no, oh, oh, we're trying to pull a fast one. Look out! Oh man, he said no, no, no good, no good, no. Anyway. <laughs> We've had a ton of fun on today's episode. Again, code word Clay, uh, Claiborne, just in case you missed it, code word Claiborne uh, for you to be able to win that merch. But right now, we want to shift focus here and talk about next week's game, 1 o'clock contest, Washington Commanders. And uh, I, I'm going to give you a little preview, guys, before I, before I switch it over to you, of how this Commanders team played last week. Now, they had the Jacksonville Jaguars at home, and the Washington Commanders came out with a victory, 28-22. Uh, Carson Wentz uh, was 27 out of 41 for over 300 yards, four touchdowns, but two interceptions. As you know, that's been the knock on Carson Wentz is his inability to, to protect the football. Uh, as far as the running backs, Gibson had 58 yards. And for receiving, their leading receiver had 72 yards. So they really got it around to a little bit of everybody. Uh, two minutes apiece for each of us here, starting with Nate. What are you looking for in this game? Um, truthfully, I want to see how this 425 is going to work against a guy who's far less mobile than Jalen Hurts. Uh, as we know, Aiden Hutchinson only had one tackle. But again, that was due to the impact of Jalen Hurts, his highly, highly, highly skilled uh, escape ability. Like the very the second play of the game, Aiden Hutchinson was in the backfield. In the backfield, Hertz was gone like that. Um, I really say our defense with I, if Jalen Hurts was a far less mobile quarterback, we were looking at a minimum of four sacks last week. Um, with that pressure, so I want to see that. Um, 
that that's going to be good. I think we're going to match up well against the run. Um, and then I want to see our is our corner still going to be able to keep up with Terry McLaren? You know, yeah. I want to do what we need to do uh, to to slow him down and can keep that pressure on Carton Wentz, Bobby. Yeah, hey, the um, uh, I'm looking for the other linebacker besides Rodriguez. Shit, that's all you hear about. We got more than one damn linebacker. Hey, hey, I don't know I'm, if they, I don't know if they was working. I don't, I don't yeah. know if they worked last Sunday, but I hope they working this Sunday. And 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 honestly, to steal a little bit from you, Nate, because I know you had did a live, if I'm not mistaken, after yeah. the game. And I remember you was telling me, uh, telling you looking, you look the pass rug looked pretty good, and Carson Wentz the uh is going to be standing back there more than taking off running. So I, I'm looking for a more quarterback sacks, honestly. As far yeah. as that offense, more efficiency of. Uh, to see more efficiency, not dropping the ball, more so more good plays than bad plays. But I want to see Jared Goff actually stretch the field more on top of mixing it with the run. I didn't see enough bootlegs, and I think this team is set up for a lot of bootlegs, especially we got those running backs running like they or uh, like a good one two punch. I didn't see enough of those. Uh, I want to see – I don't want to see T.J. Hawkinson going back and forth getting swung around the goddamn field. That's kind of fucking sad to see. But I, <laughs> I, I just um, – um, I just That's I just want to see more efficiency. And I just I, – I, I, want, I want a W, man. I want a W, man. I'm tired of almost and good speeches and shit. I want to see us at the end of the game, milling the ball as usual. With more points than the with than the other fucking thing. So that's mm-hmm. it. What about you, Elijah? All right. So for me, I'm gonna start off with something that we the fans can control. I wanna see a packed Ford field yet again. Yeah. Because this is another home game for the Lions against Washington. And here's the thing: when you're rebuilding a franchise, one of the things that outside players i'm talking players on every other roster take you know look at and take seriously is how much support does your team get when they're not winning games so i want to see another sellout because i i will say the one the one disappointing thing i did see a lot of people commenting sol same old lions after (laughs) that last loss and i gotta tell you i think they're wrong I don't think this is the same I do too. Lions. You know, I, do too. I, I don't I don't believe that. I think this is a different Lions team. And I think they're going to show that against Washington. Now I, I do want to see how do they take advantage of Washington with the injuries they have on defense. Remember, Chase Young is still hurt. So right. Jared Goff is not going to be on his backside all day. At least he shouldn't be. And, mm-hmm. and can we get the offense going a little sooner than the third quarter? That would be nice. Because, yes, we had the one drive in the first half, but after that, it took a little while to get things going again. So yeah, I, I remember like three straight be able to, you know, I, I would like to see us be able to put our foot on the throat of the opponent and crush it instead of taking the foot off the gas. Because uh, yeah. for me, I think that was a big part of the game. Obviously, I want to see how this 4-2-5 does as well. And one thing on Aiden Hutchinson, I, I was seeing something on Twitter saying that he was in the Eagles' backfield 17 yeah. times. 17 times. So while he did not, you know, make a bunch of tackles, he didn't have a bunch of sacks, he was he back was there 17 times. Yeah, yeah that's so what I'm saying. I want to see him finish it. I want to see him get some sacks against Carson Wentz. Uh, and, you know, obviously we'll see how we defend against, you know, their talented wide receiver. But for me, those are the those are the things I want to see. I want to see the Lions fans show up again, make it hell on that opposing offense like we did this week. Because there were some penalties that were caused by that wild ruckus in Ford Field. So can we do it again? Yeah. We got about four minutes here. Nate, you got a minute, my friend. Then, Bobby, you'll have a minute. Um, Also, I want to make sure I want to see this offensive line because uh, Washington has two of the best D tackles playing right right next to each other. And they're both three techniques. And then – they have they still have Montez Sweat on the other on the other end. So this front three, even without Chase Young, which you know makes it the front four, is still gonna be tough. Deron Payne, Jonathan Allen, and Montez Sweat create a lot of pressure. Actually, I think they each had a sack in the, uh, against 
um, uh, what's his face? Uh, Trevor Lawrence. Yep. Last week. So, you know, each one of those guys got to got to the quarterback. So I want to really see, you know, how we're going to do with that. Bobby. Yeah. Hey, I, I, I want to see the defense get some turnovers. I want to get some pick six. Who's going to make a play? I want to see the quarterback hit and drop the ball on the ground. You know, I want to see some potential because I, you you remember how we used to be with that old Ben don't break Nate? Then we, I don't you hate that shit, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I want I want to make some plays, man. I want to be the aggressive. And one more thing, I want to continue to see the explosiveness out of the offense because I can see big tech, big play potential out this team. But and because the more big play potential we see now, it'll go up that much when JMO come back from his injury man because he's gonna be the probably the fastest out there so these the, you can't go you ain't gonna be able to cover them all so i just right. want to this i want to see the receivers take a bigger step in the right direction as far as concentrate un, unconcentrated drops we gotta get rid of those and i i just like i said i'm gonna keep saying that i want a w man i'm gonna beg for it if i got to man uh, i just tired of i'm tired of uh having an excuse of why we why we didn't win or we looked good, but you know what I mean? Let's go ahead and get my ass to the mall and buy me a hat when we win. <laughs> other than that, I'm going to be cheating the system, it looked like. <laughs> well, Bobby nice. and Nate, I, I appreciate you guys' insight as always. We got two minutes here, so just real quick. I'm not sure if you thought this far ahead, but uh, Nate, what are you eating this Sunday, my friend? Quickly. Ooh. Uh... Hopefully not my fingernails. <laughs> nah, that's a good. Oh, hopefully, man, that was a good one. Uh, uh, I'm pretty flexible, but hopefully not my fingernails, and hopefully not a Tylenol from a headache. <laughs> oh man! See, I appreciate the honesty, Bobby. What are you oh, eating, my friend? I, I man, I think I'm gonna put me a roast in a slow cooker. Some, something, something something I ain't got to stand over and really study. And just to go by the smell if it's done. I ain't even trying to do no real work. I'm concentrating on this damn game. I don't want to be occupied doing nothing this week because I cooked cheesesteaks last last week and I was kind of in the kitchen watching the game. Shit, I don't want to do all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'm going to do something I, where I, I can sit on my butt. <laughs> for me, I'm hoping that I don't eat my words, you know. So anyway, uh, just to take a picture <laughs> of the next playbook. Hey, guys, uh, thank you again for watching this episode of On the Hunt. Reminder, the code word is Claiborne. Comment it in the comment section below. Be the first one to do it. Make sure you're subscribed and you could win a LED Detroit Lions lamp. We'll be going Facebook Live at 9 o'clock tonight to give it away. Will you be the winner? That's what we want to know. Make sure you comment below. Like, comment, subscribe. We love you and we'll talk with you next week. See you later. Go Lions. Go Lions.